They noticed the children were missing. They began searching for them. Two men jumped into the pond and pulled the boy out. The second child was found safe. We're told tonight that the investigation is still ongoing. Fallen but never forgotten. One organization is traveling more than 200 miles around southwest Indiana to remember military heroes who died during service. Eyewitness News Amelia Young was there today as the group visited St. Joseph's Cemetery in Evansville. For more than a decade. Once the funeral's over, people get on with their lives. Patriot Guard riders in southwest Indiana have been making sure no fallen soldier is forgotten. And it's time that we come back and remember what they gave for well, their sacrifice as well as their loved one. Traveling county to county, this year they're remembering 16 men and women, one of those being honored, Sergeant Brock Babb. The Patriot Guard has committed to never forgetting, and they come back here every year to honor Brock. Babb joined the Marine Corps at a young age, serving in the Gulf War and in Iraq. He lost his life when he returned to Iraq, later in life when his Humvee hit an IED. He thought, you know, there was always that chance that we might not see him alive again. Uh, but he was serving his country. He was doing what he wanted to do, and we were very, very proud of him for that. He left behind a family, but one that refuses to ever forget the fallen hero. He loved his family. He was true to his friends, and he was true to this country. It's a simple act, but something that means so much to the fallen's families. It's hard to put into words, but it, it just, to, when they thank you for being here, uh, you know, that's, that's worth everything. Because what we do is so, so minuscule compared to what they've gone through. In Evansville, Amelia Young, Eyewitness News.